Hey everybody, Ramblin' Pam here. Did you know that there was once an African lion in the mountains of Arizona? Well, there was. And it's a pretty interesting story, too. Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? In the early days of the motion picture industry, MGM Studios came up with an idea to use a roaring lion at the beginning of their motion pictures. This is Jackie. He was born in 1915 and brought to the U.S. from Sudan. He was very well trained to roar on cue. In fact, his roars and growls were the first to be used in production by MGM. In 1927, MGM came up with the idea to send Jackie cross country on a publicity tour to promote the studio. They used this modified plane with extra water, fuel, and a cage to carry Jackie. In September 1927, aviator stunt pilot Marty Jensen was scheduled to fly the plane and Jackie from San Diego to New York. But the flight only lasted five hours. The plane managed to reach the Mugion Rim in Arizona, but the plane's extra weight made it too heavy to gain the elevation needed to fly over the rim. The Mugion Rim stretches 200 miles from Arizona to New Mexico, you can stand atop the 2,000-foot drop-off for some awesome views. Its highest point is said to be 8,000 feet. The plane ended up crashing east of the town of Payson, somewhere near Bear Flat Campground and Tonto Creek. We're at the Mugion Rim Visitor Center here in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest. We came here where we're going to stop by and look at the Visitor Center, but unfortunately it's closed today. So we're just going to get some pictures of the view. It's a little chilly out here. <laughs> yeah, 7,500 feet. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a long ways down. And somewhere out here, somewhere out here is where the plane crashed. We made two trips up there to the Mugion Rim area. I was hoping that we could at least hike part way down to it, but they were closed both times that we were there. The best I could do was I found this picture from the internet. It was back in the 1990s. With minor injuries, it was a miracle both the pilot and Jackie survived the crash. According to what I read, Jensen left Jackie with some sandwiches, milk, and water and set out for help. He hiked the mountains of Arizona for three days before finding help. He contacted the studio and asked some local cowboys for assistance. Here's a picture of the cowboys that are helping him. They were able to locate a very hungry Jackie still in his cage. That's kind of amazing, isn't it? The cowboys opened the cage door, dropped a loop around Jackie's neck, and tied him up. They doctored Jackie's wounds. They attached pine logs to the bottom of his cage, got him back into his cage, and from there, they drug him up to a clearing near Cole's ranch, loaded him onto a flatbed truck, and drove him into the little town of Payson. Here's a picture of Jackie that's loaded up on the truck. They toured the town of Payson. I can imagine when Jackie was paraded through the streets on his way back to California, he was definitely the star of the town. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night 
During his career, Jackie was also in over a hundred films, including the Tarzan series alongside Johnny Weissmiller. In addition to his plane crash, he survived several accidents that included a sinking ship, two train wrecks, an earthquake, and an explosion at the studios. He was nicknamed Leo the Lucky. There were other lions that were used by MGM, but Jackie was one of the first and probably one of the most famous lions used by MGM Studios. I'm sure Jackie will always be one of the most well-known in Payson, Arizona. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll catch up with you guys down the road. Bye!